Hi, I'm Ron with Amazing Mile Marker Stops, and we're in St. Mary's, Georgia, AIM 713 on the Atlantic ICW. Okay, a little backstory is needed here. For those of you who don't know, before we started Amazing Mile Marker Stops, I was a criminal defense lawyer in the state of Georgia. Although I've announced my retirement and sort of closed the door at my office, the I was a sole practitioner, so I'm responsible for all my clients. And you can't just shut the door and walk away. They've already paid unless I want to pay some other attorney to take their case and trust me I spent that money a long time ago um, I've got to keep working their cases until they're done criminal cases can tend to linger I think the oldest case that I have I took in 2014 and here it is 2021 I'm still working that case so I've got several cases like that and I just have to keep working them till the, till the case is complete I had hoped to have a lot fewer cases than I have uh, when I announced my retirement on January 1st of 2020. As all of y'all know, that's when COVID decided to hit and close down all the courts in Georgia. So basically we haven't been able to, to close out hardly any cases since then. Um, so I'm, I've still got more cases than I'd like to have. The end result is every now and then a case gets scheduled for trial or for some sort of hearing and I've got to go back to my office and deal with that. They don't always give you a lot of notice and that's what's happened today. So I've received notice that I have court in a few days and I've got to go back and handle that. Um, as you know from the previous videos, Marie is inland right now. Uh, receiving some more treatments for her condition and I've just I'm supposed to meet up with her in Brunswick Georgia and I'm in that area now I got here ahead of time I've just been hanging out uh, waiting for her to finish her treatments so we can meet up and, and continue our trip north um, but now I need a car to get back to handle this court so she's agreed to drive over to St. Mary's, Georgia and meet up with me. Uh, I'm going to go south to St. Mary's and that way we'll get some double duty. Uh, I'll get a car to go inland to handle my court for a day. And, uh, and meanwhile, we'll shoot some video of St. Mary's and find out what's there for y'all to go see. So that's the plan. I'm getting ready to pull up anchor soon and we're going to head south to I'm going to head south to St. Mary's and meet up with Marie there, uh, take the car one day and go uh, inland to handle my court and come back and then when we're done visiting St. Mary's she'll drive back and finish up her treatments and uh, we'll meet up in Brunswick as originally planned. Crystal cry last night, I didn't know what to say. Oh, we believed it, got it swept away. And it hurt so bad, I thought, oh, he's got me. Oh, he's got me like an ache. So bad I fell down the drain Now I'm a fake Okay, I just had to share this with you guys because we don't get a whole lot of these days but I sure love them when we get them. This is what it looks like behind me. See how calm that water is, other than me stirring it up. It's just a beautiful day out there. 
check it out in front of me. Hardly a ripple in the water. Just enough breeze to keep you from getting hot. Temperatures in the mid 70s. Boy, if every day could be like this. I've got so many miles to walk away. So we used to keep elixir here in St. Mary's for almost a year and where we're sitting right now is about where elixir was parked on a dock. It's no longer here. The only thing left is way over there. All this here used to be a marina but it got destroyed in Hurricane Irma. which we beat. Hurricane Matthew came through and did a bunch of damage. We left one day before Matthew hit. It was followed up shortly later by Hurricane Irma that just wiped it out. Put all the boats up on that marsh over there. They're all grounded. It took a while to get them all off. Yeah, we left the day before Matthew hit and pulled into Brunswick Landing Marina to hide. Uh, as the storm was hitting and so we we were docking in the middle of the high winds and rain obviously the the, the heart of the storm hadn't hit yet but the outlying fringes of it were getting us so we got out of here just in time not, not everybody was as lucky I think they said 40 boats were completely damaged yeah something like about 40 boats were damaged uh, some of them a total loss Some just had to do repairs. We knew one guy that Lived on he was a full-time liveaboard and he lived on his boat for a week up in that marsh before he could get towed out but um, Not everybody's lucky as we were Give it all His breath 
in St. Mary's and having fun and it's a beautiful day and they have a beautiful park here with lots of gorgeous um, shrubs blooming and everybody seems to be very friendly it's nice here While in St. Mary's, we met up with our patrons, Ken and Jean Ballantyne. What a great couple. We had such fun getting to know them and finding out about all the amazing things they have done in their lives. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. On his way here back from court and I'm I've got a dry towel and a little bit of a it's kind of a windbreaker but it's got a hood it helps a little bit with rain but not a lot but the rain hasn't quite hit us yet I am gonna go get him aren't you cute I got something for you Boy, what you doing? Huh? It's just splashing up. Between that and my line. What is it? A towel to set on, a clean towel to set on. And uh, and I didn't know if it was gonna be raining, so you could put your jacket and tie and stuff in there if you wanted to, or you can just go on and get back on back over there. Where do you want to sit?
I had it tied up so it wouldn't be in the water. You look cute. There's a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? to be real he didn't make it poor Where's, little guy where was he he was he was right there huh. I almost stepped on him I almost stepped on him I was gonna put him out in the water but he's too dead he's too dead he's too dead but I'm not going to leave them here because somebody else will step on them. I got to do something with them. If you'd like to help us make more of these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free to you, but helps us more than you know. And don't forget to check out the nation's largest free online travel guide for boaters, AmazingMileMarkerStops.com. If you would like to put a little fuel in our tank, you can support us on Patreon. And remember, don't just cruise. Visit Amazing Mile Marker Stocks. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sorry. Oh shoot, hold up. I don't know what Ames this is.